In this town in Ghana, gold is everywhere. Locals are literally digging it up in their backyards, fueling a surge in small-scale gold mining across the country. This has raised alarms among market leaders in London. In this town located in the Ashanti region of Ghana, there is an ongoing phenomenon that has raised both excitement and concern. Gold, a symbol of wealth and prosperity in many cultures, is said to be found almost everywhere in this village. What used to be a carefully controlled and largely industrial activity has now transitioned into a grassroots movement where ordinary Ghanaians are reportedly digging for gold in their backyards. A middleman in the town shows us a number of these activities. The Ashanti region has long been known for its historical association with gold. The discovery of gold in backyards and easily accessible areas in villages is a new chapter in the region's rich history. Many locals, motivated by the potential for quick riches, have taken to small-scale mining, often referred to as galamsey. This term, a corruption of the English phrase, gather them and sell, describes informal or illegal gold mining operations across the country. The sight of people digging in their backyards, fields and nearby forest lands for gold has become increasingly common. What was once an activity reserved for licensed mining companies is now part of the daily life of many Ghanaians in the region. The discovery of gold in easily accessible areas has led to an explosion in small-scale mining activities, not only in the Ashanti region, but across the entire country. This has been partly driven by the economic opportunities it presents to local communities. Over there you can see the miners hard at work, digging for gold as the operation carries on. Illegal mining, which often operates outside the purview of government regulation, has devastating effects on the environment. Forests are being cleared and lands are being degraded, leading to loss of biodiversity and contributing to long-term environmental harm. It looks like this spot was recently worked on too, with signs of mining still fresh.
Compared to smaller setups, this seems a bit more organized. Most of these miners aren't just working on their own. They have bosses who run things from Kumasi, a nearby city. This particular setup feels a bit more structured than what you'd expect from typical local mining operations. It's not as chaotic. There's a sense of order in the way things are run. Most of these miners aren't just working alone or in small independent groups. Many of them are part of a larger network with bosses who handle things from Kumasi. There's a rhythm to it, with the bosses managing the logistics and miners tirelessly searching for that next big gold find, hoping their hard work will pay off in the form of a rich discovery. Gold prices are traditionally driven by supply and demand, and an unexpected increase in supply could potentially lower prices. This has led to alarms being raised by some market participants who fear that unchecked mining activities in Ghana could disrupt the global gold market. At night, the town transforms into a gathering point for gold miners and local refiners. After long, strenuous days of digging and sifting through the earth, they meet to unwind sharing stories of the day's challenges and victories. Plans for the next day's search are formed, as these dedicated workers strategize their efforts to unearth new veins of gold, driven by both tradition and the promise of fortune. The next day we head out to a nearby village where mining activity are starting to gain momentum. The surge in gold mining across Ghana, particularly in the Ashanti region, has ushered in both opportunities and challenges for the nation. On one hand, gold mining is a significant contributor to the country's economic growth, 
driving export revenues and attracting foreign investment. The rapid expansion of this sector comes with complex environmental, social and economic concerns that require careful management. The Ghanaian government faces the challenge of ensuring that the wealth generated from gold mining benefits the local populations directly. While gold contributes to national GDP, there is often a disconnect between the wealth produced in mining areas and the quality of life for the people who live there. To address this, there is a pressing need for policies that ensure mining revenues are reinvested into local communities. This could involve improving infrastructure, providing health care, and developing educational opportunities for residents, all while ensuring that mining operations adhere to strict environmental standards. Gold mining presents Ghana with a pathway for economic growth, but this must be balanced with robust environmental stewardship and social responsibility. The government's role in carefully regulating the sector and ensuring that the revenues trickle down to the grassroots is crucial for sustainable development.